Vile Rose was pretty big in that because he would play the Janna. See if they can get it to come out. Velocity. Actually, it was probably because probably used to be Oops. on. Oh, yeah. Bam. It took me a second. Brain just had you to just get cooking. Last day of Super tweets. Week has everybody going. Yeah. Saved us a whole bunch of anger tweets. <laughs> Good work. All right, here we go. On to the Rift, ladies and gentlemen. Velocity Esports versus Vulcan. The Vs. Who has the stronger one? That is a very good question. Yeah. Caught me taking a drink right there. But <laughs> we have some amazing stuff coming in this game because the jungle singed is not something we have seen in the LCS here. I think NK Inc. is going to be looking to be as kind of distraction man, almost never be with the team and always try to split push. I almost expect him to try to do like the carry jungler type thing with him, but not actually fight people, only get farmed and push around. Whereas everyone else on Velocity is just looking to poke as much as possible. And what an annoying lane that Ash lane becomes as Ash support. Support Ash is really strong in lane. With that new passive, you kind of get your attack up a little bit more. You get a lot more, a lot more harassing. Mm -hmm. It's much improved for this specific case, because he's not going to be attacking much at all, so meaning almost all of his harass can be volley plus an auto attack, since Vulcan has no sustain in their lanes. It's going to be pretty important. That's What's pretty interesting to point out, though both of those, whatever sticks in the AD carry support lanes is going to stick, besides the potions they bring. We heard previously Link talking about Nidalee in the game, how much of a game changer it is, how much that little heal can change the game. So at least they are bringing that mm -hmm. towards the later or the big spear of the fight. Or the, or the I big mean, think spear. about it. Think about this. If Evaniscus lands an Ash Arrow, a max range Nidalee Ooh. Spear with a Shock Blast and an Ezreal ult will kill someone. Whoop. That's not a good start. I'm going to go ahead and say it didn't take E first. Had to use that Summoner spell. No, he started Q to scout some bushes. And NK Inc. really needs this blue buff. Zuna and Bloodwater are doing their best to take away the small guys. Ah, they traded one and one, but that still means Echo's not getting level two for this. He, or sorry, NK Inc's not Ooh. getting level two for this. This has been a great little bit of harass by Zuna and Bloodwater. And he, seeing Chris there means they NK. don't have to go to the Smithy lane. Smithy can just steal this now. No, yeah, I was going to say, he's just going to smite it away. This is awesome harass, and if they get it, it'd be perfect, but now they will. Yeah, Smithy was called the best carnivore jungler in the game by his teammates, Psycho <laughs> Sid, yesterday. <laughs> He was going to be a little bit carnivorous right there if NK Inc. decided to stick around, but instead, he's still level one and is going to have to solo this blue buff. This will be the one Psycho Sid can't stop because it would be a 3v1 harass, but it's still very good early game harassment by Falcon to at least delay the amount of pushing the Velocity would want to mm -hmm. do with this strategy. And it's been interesting to hear teams, you know, as we come into Super Week and we talk less about the, the games directly when we interview them, but of the play style. And to hear that so many junglers like Meteos and a few others will only leave the jungle when they directly think it'll I be a kill. I love that style of jungling. Or they know it's going to be something like this. Yeah, jungling to me is all about efficiency. And that's what Meteos lives off of. That's what uh, NK can't be right now. He can't be efficient right. once he got counter jungled like that. And he's really just trying to catch up at this point. And really, out of any jungler, you're going to have to go with Singe being an annoyance. It's not a for sure kill every time you come into lane. A lot of pressure. So you know how do you play that? Sorry, I got distracted by Don't. the very low turret. Distract this away. is going to be we'll the fastest it. turret of the week. I think they're going to be able to get this one, despite the early game armor buff. That's true. Just because NK Inc. hasn't been bothering to babysit because he's been trying to catch up. And if he does go come through, Smithy would kill him. So that's a sub four minute turret which is the first turret we've seen taken down before four minutes this week since the turret changes. And they completely own that side of the jungle. Smithy's been there from blue to the turret, now wolves without any scare. Yeah, he has been going wherever he wants. And just to bring up uh, some turret stats that we had, not counting the games today, but mm -hmm. the games through the last two days, average first turret in the first eight weeks of the North American LCS was eight minutes and eight seconds. In the first 12 games of this week, it was 10 minutes and 38 seconds, so two and a half minutes later on average. But that did not stop Vulcan from that one because they had such a long 3v1 laning phase that since they were just able to wail on the turret for extra wave after wave, they were still able to take it down. Pressure already second tier turret. One in the favor of Vulcan means they have denied a bit of vision towards that top side. We'll have to see if they decide to switch up where the, where the AD carry and support go now. 
as Psycho Sid isn't doing too bad. 13 in his lane to that 33 of Jace. But it's 7 over Ezreal. We see ah, Echo taking some good damage in middle there. Mancloud trying to pull him back mm. in with a vacuum, but does not get the kill. <clears throat> Echo's actually maxing his spear right now on that Nidalee, just trying to get as much harass through Mancloud as possible and not worried about healing up with sustain. Velocity really wants to make something happen because if, if Vulcan gets out of this first 15 minutes of the game or so and then can really start hard initiating, it's going to mean huge problems for Velocity when they start trying to poke Vulcan out. So we talked about it a little before, right as Vulcan started going for that top turret, but as we look back at NK Inc., what kind of options are you left with a jungle singe to help your team out? He needs a lot of time, mainly. If he can ward up a bit, he can maybe avoid X Smithy coming to kill him. Always. But he didn't have wards. Oh. That is a very good recall <laughs> by NK Inc. Because <laughs> he was definitely dying if he tried to run through for double gnomes. That's one of those efficiency versus danger balances right there for NK. Because he had his smite up, and he knew if he would have went for his double golems. By the time he killed those, his race probably would have been up, and he could have done like one more cycle of the jungle and then chopped. But he was low, and he knew they had no idea where X-Smithy was, and he knew how aggressive X-Smithy was, so he decided to be a little bit inefficient because it was too risky. And it turned out to be the right choice. Looks like the AD carries have met, and they will be in that top lane. Oh, a cinch Finally game. getting some help here for Chris. Oh, Echo! Man Cloud playing Diana this game. We've seen Scar bring it out recently and it was shied away from because of its all in, but working perfectly in this matchup here. I'm gonna be honest, that Singe Gank was a little underwhelming. He he's not level six yet. Oh no! Again! No! Boom! Safeguard in! Cripple! That's what happens when your knees break! You can't run so fast! Diana! Man Cloud going all in with Xmithy to get that first blood. That was like a delayed counter gank because they recognized where NK Inc. had came from, and Xmithy. He's so good at tracking where the other jungler goes, he just assumed he'd go to the thick part of his jungle where he'd have two camps, just wait for him and kill them. And you say that he kind of tells where he's going with the last recall, with being there for the blue, and then knowing he could take wolves. He is four steps ahead of the game right now. Maple Street by himself in the bottom lane. We haven't seen AD carry Jace besides Sneaky, I believe, with Cloud9 in the first week. So this coming out, these guys trying to go with that as well. A lot of double AD carry being played this week. Yeah, it's coming back a little bit. Vulcan definitely had another successful version of it against TSM earlier today. And that means they know how to play against it as well. The Diana plus Malphite makes things so hazardous for Velocity. I'd almost... They're almost triple AD carry if you count the support. Oh and Mancloud is going to be able to do that a lot this game. That was awesome. Mancloud hitting his ultimate right before that Crescent hit, and he was still able to get the Ooh. refresh. Picks up another one with the help of Zuna on the back side of that, and for having a record. bit of a late game team, they're doing everything they need to really early. Mm -hmm. And that was the record for Mancloud. 160 oh, yeah. kills. Starts the game, no messing around. <sighs> Yay! Crowd stand This up. is where we like stop the game and give him like he the comes out of the club of, of Chris's Ezreal. Shakes his hat. Oh! That's his keepsake. Maple Street! Trying to stay alive here. The Ignite will not take him down, but he does run away, taking a gasp of breath. MK Inc. doing what he can behind enemy lines right now. <laughs> Nobody really wants to toy with him just yet, but that true damage is sure going to sting. He seems to not want to have fun with Zuna. Coming out here, Smithy trying to get that cripple down onto him after the Tempest. But you can see he's still kind of creating a little bit of trouble. Mm -hmm. He's trying to. Velocity... To put it lightly, has not had a very good start to this game. Once they group up and try their first turret siege, we'll really start seeing if they're able to get it going. But I don't even know if they're going to get to that point. x can under easily it. outsmite. Oh, the oh, ash arrow! The arrow! Yeah. NK Inc. ducks really quick as x takes a pie to the face there. Don't keep and chasing. And they are going to go. You are, he's poison still on. You are running out of mana, sir. And he will also run out of the blue buff area. But he got it. He did get he got it. the blue. That's... I like how he danced under it so he couldn't really click on him or hit him with a Q and follow up anything after. <laughs> this is a little witty tricks. That's a positive play there for Velocity, so they need a lot more of those. They're still down one turret to zero, and they need to start setting up some type of turret sieging potential. You can actually look at uh, Maple Street. 
has farmed very well. We haven't seen any of him at all because we've just been following around X-Smithy and all the action he's been creating. But 74 minion kills to 59 on Zuna is a pretty substantial edge, and they need to get those tiers going. Three tiers needs a lot of ramp up time. We're gonna Maybe see if, if they, they get, get there. that support. 11.7 to 13.7. So that 2k gold lead resting on the shoulders of Zuna, Bloodwater, and the rest of Vulcan. But right now they're using that as momentum. It is not weighing them down at all. We'll see Psycho Sid meet up with Chris in the top lane. And these guys have the advantage. Besides Echo, if you can dodge spears, they can kind of just build full armor out in this game. Yeah. And I think that's what they're going to be going for. Look for Psycho Sid. If this game goes 40 minutes, I'm going to say he's going to have 350 armor, at least. Because he's going to want to be building Randwins, Frozen Heart, and maybe even a Thornmail. Sunfire Cape will be his first. Right. But then after that, just all those things. And when totally he presses implied. his W to multiply his armor, it gets silly. Speaking of oh, bad Chris. situations. Oh, unstoppable yeah. force. He hits up. He does still have the arcane shift. He's trying to get through the minions, but the slow from the seismic shard really keeping him in as Psycho Sid steals his movement speed. Hey, well. There it is. There's the next Q as they continue to chase. The red buff is on as well. And he throws out the Cyclops eye before he goes down. Yeah. Unfortunate for Chris there. Just a timely gank by Vulcan. I feel like Vulcan can be a bit on cruise control right now, but look out! That's why you don't want to be on cruise control. Yeah, they tell you never to be on cruise control. Yeah. There's Zuna trying to get away from this one. He gets the condemn out. Flashes over. Flip back into his what? turret. Flop back the other way and a little bit of ping pang. That was an alley oop. Down. It was. Yeah. Flinked Too bad he didn't like to the skies right there and it was yeah, over. Yeah, that would have been nice. But because of that extended gank, we're going to catch actually the kill Matt Cloud had on Echo as Vulcan takes down some of the other turrets. This is the danger of going tier first, like no defense Ooh. in Italy against a melee like Man Cloud, because he can just spike you down with brute force, really. I do that sometimes. Do the, it's kind of like the you, you have a ton of money, but you haven't the... gone back to buy, and it seemed like Echo could, thought he could just clear out those minions, turret aggro onto Man Cloud, and then spear, and that would be a great win. But he did like 25%. And Man Cloud was like, yeah. really? It's like, was that a really then good Then he idea? went back and bought his Fiendish Codex for that little bit of AP damage he didn't have. So yeah. unfortunate. I definitely see what happened there. Something to note is Man Cloud right now has 55 magic resist on Diana. So those spears definitely aren't hitting that hard because there is only five magic penetration on Echo right now since he went for the split penetration runes. Echo's got to get at least a little bit of magic pen if he wants those spears to actually beat Man Cloud, especially if he's going to be turret diving like that. And a lot of, and that is almost, you know, even a plus more must. Because of the no initiation they have, it's all poke. The way that Va uh, Vulcan, Mandatory Cloud, specifically used to use Nidalee and Link, is to start off the fight with the other team having half HP. And when it's the other way around, he's still doing damage there. That spear was pretty nice. That was not nice. So they may still have it, but that's what they're looking for. They're going to have to poke before they fight. All right. Woo. This this is their poke start. This is it. Look at how many Velocity members are in mid lane right now. Huzzah. They're trying to get as much damage down as possible as Vulcan there. collapses in. Now keep track of how low oh. the initiators all Vulcan get for whether they're going to go in or not. Man Cloud and Psycho Sid are the two big people here. Oh, they're the just going. Line, it's dodged out. Man Cloud does Look go. Out. Psycho Sid with the unstoppable force, but Man Cloud's already used his ultimate, so it's all about vacuuming in, keeping the fight going. Psycho Sid for the peel. They're on to Aveniscus. That's the support, but they still take him down. Chris now, not much damage onto him either. They're sitting on the tiers and a few long swords. NK Inc., really the chaos of the fight. Like you said, Jack, he has not had enough time to get where he wants. Echo again going down to the hands of Man Cloud. Ooh, and that was a three for zero in a 4v5 for Vulcan. Gotta say that fling NK Inc. did wasn't doing Echo any favors because it saved NK Inc. But he just actually flipped Mad Cloud into Echo so he get his fourth kill of the game. What we said they needed, the dive comp to the poke comp. Those few mm -hmm. steps up to the turret looked great. They did over mm -hmm. 1,500 damage to three champions on the team and the first initiation was their downfall. So they got a position better yeah. than that. With this velocity composition being so so squishy, yeah. and especially a support Ash who uses the Ash arrow before the fight goes, they are nothing once they get engaged upon. And because there's so much long distance initiation from Vulcan, it doesn't work well for velocity. Vulcan can pretty much, if Psycho Sid lands a Malphite ult on two or more, 
Likewise, with Mancloud, if he can just land his, uh, his vacuum on two or more, I think Vulcan will win every single one of those fights. Wow, straight on to Aveniscus. He actually used his ultimate to close the gap. He making the kill with the ignite down. He will find it. And it looks like they are going to have to put some defense towards mid now and consider this. Yeah, that was just as soon as he saw someone he dove on because there's nothing punishing him right now. There's no support to, you know, catch him in a root other than a super long cooldown ash arrow, which can stun him. There's no mage that's going to spike him out or stun him when he comes in. There's complete freedom right now for what Vulcan wants to do. Thank so King. this seems like a good idea, Frank Aang. I don't think it... Uh, he's oh, going to try to run away. Oh, the Condemn is going to oh. push him. Yep, yep. All right. He goes for the slow right. there. What's your game, It's going to be big. He's going all the way down to oh. the bottom side. He's going to get a little bit of HP on this. To fight in the jungle himself. as well. It's quite a bit of time that goes off of that execution. I think he's good by now. True Shot Barrage coming across. They're trying to help him get away. Zuna takes him down. The fight in front of us now. Stranglethorns popping it oh, down. No. Chris falls. They try to get the Ash Volley down to kite this one out, but Psycho Sid, Malphite, such a good chaser. One more shot here on Echo, but he denies the vision in the next brush. Things are going very well for Vulcan right now. It yeah. looks like they're going to end the season on an absurd winning streak, and at this point, they're really trying to pad Man Cloud stats is what I'd be doing if I was Vulcan right now. Give him as many kills as possible. Make sure Bloodwater's in Boom. the kills. Boom! Ouch. Shots fired. Sometimes, when people get hit like that, I just like, I'm physically pained. I'm just like, ooh, that really would hurt if you're in Italy right now. Diana gives you no room to breathe. It's like mm -hmm. that. Smithy on Lee Sin and Mancloud on Diana is the complete rush down composition. Especially you got Malphite coming in next, and that happening. I think it's what 21 seconds right now for her. 15.2 seconds for her ultimate, yeah. and it's refreshed if the Q's already hit, so you can see the damage she is doing. Being ahead, yeah. Man Cloud looking to make that score a little harder to catch for everybody else next split. Yeah, that puts him at, uh, what, 180, no, 164 kills right yeah. now for the yep. split? Yeah, 6 on 58. Zuna, this is round two. Uh, I don't think it's going to be as... Oh, nice flip! Oh, he... Jumped right out of it, and he gets the kill. Smiles all around. I think I think he's actually saying nice. That was pretty nice. That was a good flash. Yeah, he typed it out. Not worth, but nice. Oh, they are all over the place. Whose jungle is this? It's Vulcan's jungle is what they are it saying. It is very clearly they Vulcan's jungle. They have put posts up right now. Not for sale. Cannot be bought. No. It doesn't stop Velocity from going back in there again and again, though. They have to fight. They want to go in there. They have a composition to start, like we said, that fight off with they need to everybody poke. being low. Yeah. They need to poke. Zuna is doing his own thing. Psycho Sid is very strong right now. And Mancloud is just, like, randomly jungling. I think he's farming up a little bit. I'm waiting, I think, for a very quick Vulcan victory. I think this, just, I think this one's going to be quick, Rip. Bold, bold prediction right here. Give me a time. 25 minutes. All right, you heard it, Reddit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jack doesn't know what he's talking about. 30,000 yeah. gold in the pockets of Vulcan. You know, makes that time see like it could be possible here. That's a few full items as they are. 7,000 gold Can in the lead right now. Oh. That was, he stayed alive for quite some time. Longer than he probably should have. He was trying to showcase his vein mechanics. Um, but he missed auto attacked one of those. I think he hit the wrong target. They're standing on top of each quarter. other. Yep. Thirteen to three. Almost coming up on to twenty minutes here. We will have no surrenders this day on the last week of Super the LCS and NA. Five to one in turrets, and it's not really the outer turrets going. Besides the bottom one, there it is. Mm -hmm. They have all three now. They can go around the horn of the base, and their jungles, two jungles to farm now. They have three quadrants of the jungle right now. Zuna tried to get control of the fourth, but he was repelled by the velocity attack. Let's take a look at this duel. He was trying to keep his attacks on Maple Street, but I didn't catch it right. Yes, he dodged the Ash Arrow by getting hit away, uh, but I think he started attacking NK. Yeah, he hit NK once. He hit NK once, and that dropped his dropped his attack chain on Maple Street. Man, that's, ah. that's a frustrating thing. Ah. It's when all the teammates run on each other and jump on each other. You're like, I couldn't click the right person. Damn it. That gold lead slowly growing in favor of Vulcan. It may slowly be growing, 
but they've already found a big gap to put in between them and Velocity here. Map control is theirs, and they're taking fights as they come. They're not mm -hmm. too worried about it, but Velocity's not playing scared, so it's still Vulcan having to situate these fights correctly. They're just coming out on top because of that item difference here. Yeah. NK is trying to be as big a distraction as possible right now. <laughs> I think it's working oh, pretty well. the max range Q to the resonating strike. He's really fast. Boom. Oh, Safeguard. Throws down. Got the cripple. The energy. Then hit the Tempest. Yeah. One yeah. more. One more hit Q. The Q. Oh, he oh. didn't activate it in time. We all wanted to see it happen. Dodges the oh. roots. Goes back, back and up. forth. Oh, from two furlongs behind. It's going to be Psycho Sid coming up around the corner. Man Cloud died in the mid lane, and this is actually a good move for Velocity being able to get this turret. I'm going to go out on a limb. Said that Psycho Sid ultimate was unnecessary. A little bit. You could absolutely say that. They didn't need to go for a for sure kill already, but looks like it may hurt them on denying this turret. Xmithy from the other side hits up onto Maple Street. There's still a good bit of damage there with the ADCs. And they don't actually have their initiation right here to stop it because Mancloud is dead and Psycho Sid used his ultimate to KS. So Velocity actually has a legitimate push here for at least a little while. Psycho Sid taking oh, a bit no, of oh, from behind, Xmithy kicks in Ebeniscus. They take out anything that he could do. The Flash Ignite down actually after getting kicked. And we're going to have to see if they can continue on this fight. They are not pinched right now, but it is Velocity trying to figure out a way back to their team. <laughs> Psycho Sid uh, has built the Shard of True Ice. Yes. <laughs> he put it on. He put it on Xmithy to help him out with that one. He's just like, yes, I did KS, but it was only so I could afford my Shard of True Is that our first ice. one? It's the first one in a while. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it MIA built gives, one or something back in the day. It's one of the only <laughs> upgrades of gold per 10 items that maintains the gold per 10. So he's still getting four gold per 10 seconds. Um, also, he's granting nearby allied champions five mana regen per five seconds because this item builds out of a mana manipulator. And the unique active surrounds an ally with the blizzard for four seconds that will slow any movement by 30%. So it's actually like a very small Lulu ult on someone persistently, and it's only on a 60 second cooldown. So that's what Vulcan's gonna wanna do to chase down all those squishy squishy guys on velocity. They only got three minutes left if they wanna keep to that 25 minutes. <laughs> According to Jat, or Dream Jat, who knows? Dream Jat would have gotten that prediction. Dream right? Jat would have absolutely on that prediction, right? NK Inc. taking some good damage from Psycho Zid here. That's not going to last long, though. But again, it did stop the Malphite ultimate from coming in. The problem is Boom. they're going to kill Bloodwater. The problem is Shock Man Cloud wants to fight this as well. And I wonder how many people he's going to try to take on by himself. It's a lot of one-on-one -on -one class, two-on-one -on -one joining assassinations. There was kind of a three-party. Back mm -hmm. to the one-on-one. -on -one. Here comes Xmithy, the two, yeah. then the oh. three. Three's a crowd, double kill coming in. Mandatory Cloud extending that record. Eight and one. Nice moves. Very nice moves. Looks like they may try to go for a four-man Baroon. I believe so, Riv. They will, indeed. I haven't the heard that one before. From both sides, all five members playing League of Legends. They might get this one. I don't think that Velocity is going to be able to contest this, unfortunately. This game has really gotten out of hand. It has. Yeah. A little bit, but a lot of it. Baron is now in the hands of Vulcan. Xmithy was able to get that down. He got a for sure smite on it. True Shot Barrage coming across a little wee late there. Mm-hmm. It looks like they're going to be able to resituate. No, that's down. We'll see if it can keep being NK Inc. playing the nuisance role here mm -hmm. and causing chaos whenever he can. Here we go again. He's not worth that much gold anymore. <laughs> so anytime X Smithy tries to chase after him, he's really just kind of prolonging the game. This is this is uh, what people used to call the proxy sin strategy. It's just he's doing it out of the jungle, and this is this is a real thing that has worked occasionally. There was a couple players that took this to Diamond One. It doesn't work so much anymore because bounties don't decrease as quickly mm -hmm. uh, as of a couple patches ago. But the strategy is, Matt Cloud is 4v1v4ing right now. Uh, don't worry about he's it. He's going to die. What were you talking about again? Yeah, yeah he's dead. <laughs> uh, the Singe strategy actually kind of works for, can work for a team. By dying so much, you're increasing the enemy team's bounties a whole lot. And you're keeping your minion kills higher. So ideally, you're out farming and the rest of your team is able to do things while you're dying. But then when your team does get kills, they're worth more gold. I don't think it's going to work for Velocity, though. Smithy taking some damage. Maple Street 
He's getting some power on him. That Miramana finished up now. Eveniscus goes down. A little bit more cash for the Rock. And it looks like Zuna will pick up two kills for himself yeah. in the roundabout fight. It only works if it's only the Singe dying. <laughs> the rest of the team has to stay alive. Chucks. That engagement going a bit awry. Yep. Look at these items coming out here. Smithy trying to go for that TM mat. Usually see some Lee Sins building that up if they're having a, a better than good game. I see Voiboy go Ravenous Hydra to like Last Whisper, Ravenous Hydra to Bloodthirster on top mm -hmm. lane Lee Sin all the time. And just really try to take over the game. X Smithy could do it on this because no one on Velocity has that much money right now, and he's able to pretty much duel almost anyone if he just goes damage. Saris Embrace, Embrace, Embrace with the Morello Namicon. You gotta finish one word before you start the next. Mm -hmm. That's what Echo is trying to bring out here. The Morello trying to get all of those spears out as fast as possible and as much as possible. As well as the Saris Embrace for if anything oh, no. goes wrong, but that was so right. Can they make it count? They have the kite down onto him. The slow is there. He's gonna turn around, put down the Blade of the Rune King, but Somebody also help him. Get a Half of his health chunked out there. We got NK8 coming from the other side. He's gonna have to flash over the wall. Give him the good flip. He gets it back. More of that crowd control coming in. Kivzuna, I was gonna say, you guys have his number. Gotta take him down. Psycho Sid on the backside. Uh, Eveniscus could be going down once again to him. That ultimate to finalize the kill and keep it on. Shard of True Ice. Maple Street Slow gets down. just in range. Oh, he gets kicked away with the Dragon's Rage. But back in with a thousand range resonating strike. And that was actually a shutdown. Maple Street had a full bounty there. He's five and two on Jace. He's done as this habits. chaos just keeps happening. He's actually one of the members that is focusing down at Smithy in these fights when he can, trying to. It's kind of funny. He's one of the AD carries, but he's helping peel for Chris, helping peel for Echo as well, mm -hmm. being the AD carry. It's a different composition. Velocity is pulling, or trying to pull right now, a very tricky, tra a very tricky tactic yeah. that some people have adopted in solo queue. It's where you just. You hope the other team gets so casual about things <laughs> that they start making very dumb decisions and you start coming back in. Vulcan has already fallen for this trap. It's just a matter of, is it going to pay off for Velocity? Because, like, Vulcan is not doing smart things right now because they are completely relaxed in this game. And the goal lead is surprisingly only 10,000, 27 minutes in, which, based on how easy everything has seemed for Vulcan, means the game is actually a little closer than they would realize. And they should actually take a little more seriousness into this if they want to be able to close this game out. They still hold that potential damage. It is going to come from Jace because, as we said, Maple Street is 5, 2, and 3. But you're going to get the same damage from a 5, 2, and 3 Jace as you do from that Nidalee Spear of 1, 4, and 5. So yeah. within the next 15 minutes, that'll start to not happen as much because of then the magic resistance and whatever Vulcan will have the money to buy being that far ahead in core items. So Velocity does have to work a little faster at this point. The nice thing, though, is NK Inc. is still doing his thing. I don't think he can escape Zuna. <laughs> no. He's going to the base. Yeah, he's going to try it again. He's off! Yeah, as, like, Zuna's, Zuna's like, not just, just go. Just yeah. go. This means that Vulcan <laughs> is at least trapped into 4 b Where's he boring. going? He can see everybody on the he's map. He's taking two waves. Oh, he is. Yeah, he's, he's connecting yeah. them off to the Nexus. He's trying to get two waves. He missed one. Uh, but if he just stays in there and no one comes back, he has no reason not to just keep going getting two waves. He's trying to create as much problems as possible since he's not worth money yet. He's lonely. He's saying, pay attention yeah. to me, please. He is getting a little bit of attention from Zuna. We'll have to see that triggers for him. Zuna with the home guard, so uh -oh. he is going to be able to get a little bit of Watch aggression. Twin Shadows comes out. The Spooky Ghost could have been enough. And it he's definitely free. will be. He's gone. Uh, for now, hold on. He's taking a good angle. Nice juke. Yeah, straight away. Good job. <laughs> They're all like, he's going to stay in the jungle and toy with us. Let's look for him. No, he's gone. Maybe that's their toy now. If Vulcan's not careful, this could turn rough. <laughs> it's going to be I crazy was way off if on that the 25 happens. minutes, by the way. Uh, I No, we'll just say it didn't happen. Yeah. That was Dream Jet. I meant... Um, it's That's what I was, yeah. Yeah. I totally knew that. That's why I didn't question. Baron is up in 1 minute and 12 seconds, as you see on the screen. So everybody get your hands ready to clap for that as it comes up. Vulcan has them contained right now, actually. As long as NK Inc. doesn't make it out past anyone from Vulcan, Vulcan's going to dive them right here, uh, up the mid lane, and try to get the kills. Flip backwards. Flip forwards. Zanya's in place. Velocity's going to lose that mid inhibitor. Man Cloud. Wow. 
They're really not trying to go on whatsoever because they know it has to be how there it is to the skies Hell! back and forth. Wow. One v two and then 4v nothing in the mid lane as they're just pushing down that inhibitor. See, Velocity, aside from their poke, it's not like they can engage on anything. Look at this poke, though, they're it's the good! Mercy. Do it something is. now! What, what are they gonna do? Ash Arrow is on <sighs> cooldown? Um, it is. It is. It's always easier to say fight, than do. If they get into a fight, they will lose. You're getting all antsy. It's like watching yeah. somebody play a sport, and you're like kicking your legs and moving your arms. You're like, damn it. Oh, it's up! Whew. Felt the breeze. It's a nice follow <laughs> by the camera. It's a nice follow by the team. They're trying to get the rebound. Nothing there. So at this point now, we have one way for Vulcan that's actually past the river. Velocity again, finding the strength and numbers to get themselves out of the bay somehow. They have an inhibitor down. Or inhibitor turret. Yeah, Vulcan rather. didn't even get the inhibitor there. No, the it's half did repel right. them from the base. The Baron is alive. So with the push that, that Velocity have, they're actually sitting okay. They just have to be careful of where Velocity is if there's an attempt here. Yeah. Ravenous Hydra completed. For bing, Smithy. bing, bang, boom. He bing also damage. has his Jungle Gym oh, Ruby here. Sight. Death Cap completed by Mad Cloud. That's the real scary one. With more armor? Just because? Because mm. if I look at Velocity right now, there's only one person on that team that's built a magic resist item. Mm. Not good. <laughs> They're definitely putting glass cannon into a whole different meaning, or all your yeah. eggs in one basket. Looks like we're gonna have a two-man Baron here. Actually, Psycho Sid joining the party. They have the arrow. We still got some dirty farming going on by NK Inc. in that bottom lane. He's trying to get past. A little too early. Yeah. But they're still gonna attempt. Gonna get, get some good spears in here. Yeah, here comes the fight, maybe. All right. Uh, uh. No. No. There, NK Inc. definitely has somebody coming for him though right now. Not yet. Ooh. Oh. Care. See, they're even playing smart. That's what you're talking about. They're, they are remembering a little bit. Here's the next challenge. I don't think it's possible to proxy three waves at once. <laughs> because he's got an opportunity to try. Ken. Falk going to be ending the game, by it. the way. He, okay, he's going for two. He's just got... You, you can only go for two. That in itself is actually very difficult. Zuna in the back line. He has had a good game for himself being that late game vein. Getting late game quite early for himself. Mm -hmm. Seven, three, and one. And even coming out on Zuna, he has the static shiv himself, which means adding that push to the kit, meaning Vulcan wants to get this one done. Mm -hmm. Oh, Matt Cloud does not delay. They're going in with no minions here since Sinch took them all. <laughs> Looking for the inhibitor turret. Psycho Sid is huge, but they're all taking turret shots. Zuna just took two to the face. They have some plants. Here comes oh, NK Inc. If chance. he attacks, that means he's going to lose it. Unstoppable force out, which means everything has almost been used in defense. Man Cloud is flipped, but that gives him an entry to the back line. Will he use it? Great volleys coming out from Evan Niskus is keeping them at bay. The Hawk Shot not going to kill anybody. Mandatory Cloud runs. They still have sight from the Bushwhack. That's up to nine seconds. The dodge is there. Echo still trying to chase. There are no, is no brush for that Nidalee to hit until now. And that chase can continue. Yeah, and Vulcan's going to fight oh, them here White because they've healed up. Turns around, turns the key, and ignites the fire. Chris is the next one to go down. Man Cloud throws on the shield. The three orbs are broken, so he gets it back. But it's not enough. Zuna, where are you? Continue. Here comes Zuna from the right side. Tumbles in for one. Can he tumble for two? And the third one looks like it's going to scramble away. Zuna took the long way around right there, and it ends up costing Vulcan two kills. But that's still a four for two, and the minions have finally arrived. They might get inhibitor number two. They were hungry for that fight and actually kited it the entire lane. A very nice job by Vulcan Velocity doing everything they could without having a true initiator. Yeah, that was his, that was their best effort yes. at that point. After... Oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh, no. No, bye. Oh, Zuna man. He's so calm and collected there. Yeah. It's very unlike him. Very unlike him. Yeah. He's in the zone. He just knows it. All of these guys pretty close to a final form. The Zanyas on top of that Guardian Angel is going to make Man Cloud mm -hmm. very hard to reckon with. Since he just died, he bought that Guardian Angel. So coming up with it, the next push is going to be very big for Vulcan and tough to stop for Velocity. Yeah, the gold lead, which was at least a little bit frozen at 10,000. Right. It's now been blown open. It's 16k. Uh, three completed zeal items for Zuna. It's got the double fan dancer and the static shiv. 
Tiny Dancer. See if he can produce more kills himself. 10, 3, and 1, 9, 3, and 1, 7, 0, and 8. The lanes went well for these guys. Like, everybody came out of lanes really yeah. strong. And it's even harder to win a game when you know you're coming behind in every area. Right from the very start, when they were able to take the turret early, it really put Velocity off their game plan. And even the counter jungle that happened to NK Inc. delayed his ability. This is not going to be a good fight for Velocity. Aveniscus on the back side. You said the arrow used in the beginning. It's already been used. They baited that one out to a good fight. They know they had. Vision is really giving them the upper hand as they press in. And it's only a matter of time before it's those Nexus turrets. At least NK Inc. is trying to be annoying. And... no. Ooh, Chris, that could have been scary. Looking like Maple Street going for the top lane push. He's going to go ahead and back, though. The team needs him. Yep. Vulcan is going to push the mid lane here. I'm going to remake this... my prediction. Yeah? They're going to end it within the next five minutes. Next five minutes? Yep. Not going to be wrong this time. I don't know. I think Reddit still has your number. It's going to be a quick Nexus turret one going down. Vulcan versus Velocity, the flying V of Vulcan. We questioned which would be stronger at the beginning of the game. Velocity was able to find the doorway oh, no, through Vulcan dying. in the season, but not this time. They are going for kills. They're getting those KDAs. Man Cloud already breaking the highest kill count in the LCS of any of the regions, along with the team as they take down the Nexus 33 to 14 and 36 minutes.